dip a real tough one there, heartbreaking as well, you know, put in so much into that, a real shift, and got nothing out of it. Uh, yeah, so one to take on the chin, um, but credit to the boys, you know, we fought to the end, but it's, like I said, it's just, it's just one of them days, and we just have to move on to the next one, keep thinking about it, use this as, this game, that's just gone past as a booster for the next 10, um, you know, we're still in it, and we just have to graph, go on to Tuesday, so just have to put this one by us. They were very tough at the back, um, put a lot of men on you again. You're beginning to get this all the time. It just yeah. seems to be how they're going to play against you. Yeah, 100%. That, that's probably going to how, how it's going to be for the rest of the season. But we'll always find ways to score. Like I said, even today when I scored, we'll, we'll find ways. We'll score. So we're not worried about that. We just have to put our grafting boots on and uh, really put in a shift for the next, next 10 games to come. When you lose players like uh, Josh uh, through injury and Dara, two of your real suppliers of the ball, that yeah. that made it a more difficult game for yourself. No, 100%. Obviously, Josh feeds me the ball, Dara feeds me the ball, so that is a real blow for us. Um, but we've got more than enough talent in that change room. We've got more than enough heart and, and, and soul in that change room. So I have no um, doubt that we'll still score goals and, and people are still putting put their chips in. Lee, it really feels like a stolen three points today from a fan's point of view and it was a tough one to watch. Yeah, there was a lot of frustration that you could sense from the from the stands and from the support. Um, I think wholly justified, to be honest with you, because of certain aspects of the game. Um, Listen, first and foremost, let's talk about the game in, um, in relation to that. We've got to defend better. Uh, the first goal, we've got to defend better. The second goal, it was unfortunate because I've always said since I've come in, if, if we're going to fall short this season, we'll fall short having a go. And we had just switched the formation to go three at the back and get another, to get the two up front again with ten men um, and have a bit of go the last 20 minutes. And then we were just out of shape a little bit, Frankie and uh, Paddy, in relation to organising the back post area there. So we can do better with that. But for long spells of that, our players were, were magnificent, their discipline and their uh, attitude towards staying in the game and hopefully getting something out of it was was exemplary. Um, but certain aspects of the game were out with our uh, control. So um, that, that's a sore one, that's a sore one. But we'll use it as a motivational tool going forward. We've got to take that one on the chin. We feel hard done by today in certain aspects of the game. Um, but going to Capello we'll have to use that as a motivational tool A nasty one for you as well with Josh the tackle that went into him we could all see him with the blood in his socks so he's yeah. really caught a nasty one It wasn't even a yellow card according to the officials so I don't get it I just the fact that um, you, you've got two officials inside 10 yards from the incident and not even a yellow card I, I, um, and then obviously the decision on Dara Listen, I thought it was a foul on Dara. The boy's pulled his shirt back. Dara's gone into the challenge, but Dara's toes pointed down the way. There's no studs up. There's nothing. Um, the referee's got to just take a few seconds to himself and, and, and assess it. That's what I said to him. I went in to see him. I said, I watched the game last night where the referee couldn't get the card out of his pocket quick enough, and I've watched the game today for very similar circumstances. I said, to give yourself the best opportunity possible, Give yourself five, ten seconds, reassess it. Just check on the Inverness player first and foremost to let it process in your mind before you make a final decision. Now, if you're checking the Inverness player and you maybe he's got a ripped sock or he's got blood in his ankle or any, you can see any, then maybe you're justified. But up to that point, there was just, I don't know, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm speaking to you very frustrated here. Um, so, yeah, um, very tough to take. I turn it round then a wee bit, and I know you've gone that kind of way. The team put in a hell of a shift oh, to try and get something out of that, and in the end, the feeling was in the crowd, you know, oh, it was so close. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit. Of, again, it was a bit of frustration. I think the the supporters appreciate the lads put a, a lot of effort into it. It'd be interesting to see their uh, distances covered and running stats and everything like that later on. But ultimately, that doesn't win you a game of football. We've got to defend better. We've got to. Um, well, with ten men against them, it was always going to be tough to create and 
um, leave ourselves open at the back. So we had to play with a lot of balance and everything to keep ourselves in the game. And as I say, maybe give ourselves the last 15, 20 minutes to have a go at it. It was just unfortunate. The minute we decide to have a bit of a go at it, we lose a goal two minutes after. And that, that was that was the frustrating side of it. But they deserve a lot of credit. They put everything into it. I think they wear the badge with pride and they will do until the end of the season as well. Is there a chance for the club to actually look at that and put in a complaint about it and see whether they're going to appeal it? I'll speak to Graham and the chairman uh, just now, I'll just go in, because I would be shocked and really disappointed if it's not overturned, to be honest with you. The video footage that we've seen seems to suggest actually exactly what you've just said about it. He was actually fouled with it, yeah. so uh, I take it you've got that footage to we use. We have that footage and we're able to provide that um, in relation to the potential appeal that we'll put in. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't appeal it um, and as I say I'll be a really disappointed manager if if it's not overturned because Dara didn't deserve that, we didn't deserve that today. We got two sort of decisions that went against us that could have turned the whole game in our favour, unfortunately it, it turned the game uh, in Inverness's favour. And fair play to Inverness, listen, they're, they're, they're not guilty of it or anything like that, they're not guilty of this in any way whatsoever. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game. I like Billy, he's got a lot of experience, he's a really good man, um, he's got a good experienced team there, so this is nothing no against Inverness in any way whatsoever, this is just us feeling hard done by, so let's, uh, as I say, let's use it as a motivation. And that drops you down just outside the playoffs yep. places just now, so yep. again, you have to use that as motivation. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we're down there now and the, the teams above us are there to be shot at as we've been all season. Um, we are going through a, a little sticky patch and this is, as I say, I've said the last two or three times, we need the supporters. We need them really to help us, back us, push us when the chips are down like they are at the moment uh, and drag us over the line. But I've got a group of players that will fight for the Badger all the way for the last 10 games of the season. They'll give everything they can and hopefully we can um, finish, finish the season with a strong run.